right, I did want to um, get to, yeah, the clap. Everybody want to do the clap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yo, 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 salute to Matt for putting this together. Mm -hmm. Legend, Mount Rushmore of the culture. Facts. Not just rap for black people, period. Facts. 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 Big facts. So salute. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here just enjoying the ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take let's take a little uh, turn on the ride. Well, um, you released a book called Fatherless. From fatherless to fatherhood. From fatherless to fatherhood. Yeah. Um, what what's that? What was that like? That experience? Because I'm someone that can identify with that. You well, know, not having a father around, becoming a father, and kind of wanting to be better than your own father. Right. But my process led me to realize, even though I was better than mine, I could be better. What was your experience like? Okay, so that words are powerful. So mm -hmm. when you say be better than, that's a, um, you have to be careful with your words. Right. right. So I would hone in on to be better, not better than. Mm -hmm. And I love my father. It's a strange thing. He's passed on. Transition. My condolences. Thank you. But it's as if since then we're more in touch. Mm. He's been speaking to me since he's passed so much. Right. Mm. To the point of where the date of when he passed, I have a little sister from him. I was her father because he wasn't necessarily in her life either. Mm -hmm. And this date came around and I, I and I just kept feeling I was telling my wife and I'm I called my little sister like, yo, you know, these because I there's dreams and then there's visions. Right. Um, I think dreams are fleeting and visions are are they're they're definite. Yeah, they they, they come back to you. They're definite. Right. Oh, you mean focused. No, definite, like you can't get away from it. A dream mm -hmm. can just come and go. Right, okay. And I was having these visions of him. And so I called my sister and I said, man, it, it's, it's really interesting. And I was trying to figure it out. Like, you know, I feel like he's reaching out to me. Um, and I'm going get, to get to exactly what you're saying. And she said, oh, that's interesting. This was the day before Valentine's Day this year. And she said, well, you know, he passed on this day. Right. And I didn't remember the day that he passed. This is what your wife told you. This is what my little sister told me. It was me. your little sister. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right? Um, and I have no regrets because I only met my father one time in my whole life mm. when I was 12. One time. And we hung out for like four days. And that's it. That's all I got. He never tried to come around with no. your success? No. Not, wow. Nothing. Um... And through the years, I try, oh, Kane is going to love this. Shane, where's Shane at? Kane's going to love this story. So I was at this show at, uh, what was it? Um, the the Hammerstein Ballroom, whatever. Mm -hmm. Some show, Trial Court Quest, uh, uh, Rex and Effect, and all of that type yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm backstage, Freddie Fox, Bumpy Knuckles. Right. He's like, yo, come here. I'm a little shorty. I'm like, yo, what's up? I don't know. My pops was Muslim. So he's like, yo, I made Juma with your pops at the mosque on foot. And then I'm like, so? At that point, because I was so young, I'm still angry and yeah. mad and yeah. resentful. That and phase. But, you yeah. know, you know, Bumpy is like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go seek him out and talk to him. And I'm like, I'm not trying to hear none, none of that, that shit. Right. You know, but it stuck with me. And what it made me do, because the the gift that my father did give me was my little sister. In a sense of she was six weeks old when the only time that I met him. And so when that situation happened, um, the, life is so beautifully poetic. So my, my girl at the time, my oldest daughter's mom's, she's Muslim. And I mean, like, Muslim, like, speak Arabic and all Hajib that. Hajib and all that. Mm -hmm. Her brother was in the mosque with my pop. So after the Freddie Fox incident, I'm like, ah, whatever. And then shortly thereafter, 
my girl at the time, her brother called like, yo, I was in the mosque with your pops. We was praying, da 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 And I'm like, okay. That's so I said, God wink. Something's like, yo, yeah. there's something. At the time, I'm 21 years old. I'm like, all right, yo, next time you see him, get, get, get his number or whatever. Because I always felt like, yo, I had a sister out there that I had to protect. Right. And try to help God and so forth and so on. I've been in her life ever since then. And so we reconnected. And through the years, I tried to connect with him. But what I learned from my father as well is that a rela- all relationships have to be dialogue. They're not monologues. And with him, he just would stop for whatever reason when the conversation got too deep. And, it, you know, I told him I forgave him. I told him, you know, I love my pops. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm mad as fuck, nigga, because you wasn't dead when my mom was counting pennies and I was watching her cry on the bed and that shit shattered my entire being. And I'm like, I have to change this. And in my family, there's been a pattern of that. Right. And so I took it upon myself to say, I got to set a new bar so that all the males that come from this bloodline see a bar where you can't go lower than that. Right. Mm-hmm. This is this is what we do. This, this is, is what we standard. do. The standard. Period. The standard. The new standard. And, you know, life being what it is, is going to throw you curveballs and things happen like my oldest daughter's mom's. God bless her soul. She passed away. Mm. Nothing could prepare you for that pain. Right. Having to try to console my daughter still to this day because she's, that's something you never get over. It's something you, I guess, learn to deal with. You learn to function with. And it's so crazy to me in a selfish way because old age runs in my family. My great grandfather passed when he was 94. My grandfather passed when he was 89. My grandmother is about to turn 93. Like this, that part is normal to me. You know, a child losing their they moms at, at, at 16, 17 is not normal to me. You follow me? Right. And that's my own daughter. Right. And so fatherhood is the blessing of God. It's the creator. It's the closest that we can be to God. It's to help co-create life. But then you got to be responsible for it. Right. And that's the trick right there. Anybody can have a baby. But how do you be a father? So I don't judge nobody because everybody has their own path. And you always have the power of choice at your disposal. Life is a sum total of your decisions. That's right. I step on your shoe. Hey, yo, da, 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 da. You want to put for what? Now your ass is sitting in the cell. You know what I'm saying? All, you, you're frozen in ice. You're frozen in time. Thinking about this one, one moment. moment for years. For years. Wishing you'd have made a different like decision. decision. You could have just did that. And so it's the same thing with because, yo, I got three kids. 14, 17, 22. They're three different people. It's like y'all sitting here. I can't, I could have one thing that I want to say to y'all. But you three different personalities. Right. And once you know, it's like, oh, I got to say it to him this, this way, way. Say it to yeah. him this yeah. For you to get yeah. the message. Right. There's no template for all of them. There's and none. kids, are, that's what right. kids are. Right. But I had to learn that on the fly. You could read all the books. You could but get you, all the advice. You see what you just said, how you had that understanding? You said you forgave your father. Yeah. But did you ever look at it like, did your father forgive himself? He probably had to look and say, "Yeah, my, I left my boy for dead." I, I think that that's that's you like the deepest part of it. So my father, to this day, you know, I love him, love him to death. My pops, he went to see him yesterday. Um, that's beautiful. But I think there's a part of him that only activates when he's in a certain mind state, mm. and then the phone calls happen. What you mean, Math? Um, drinking. So, it, so his love comes when he starts to drink. I think and once he taste. calms, calms the voice of you should have did this, you should have did this, you should have mm. did this, you should have did this, mm. and, and it might be too late. It's too late for you now. And then he calls late. you. Once that voice is silenced. Mm. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Mm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna share a story with you, and it's actually in my book, and this is facts. Mm. One time. I had a beautiful female with me 
We were driving down Rogers Avenue. Ooh, before the bus lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, Yo, I'm, it's too I'm many in Brooklyn. It's too many Brooklyn. Come on, bro. Let's go. 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 That, that, yo, you know what I'm saying? And then when the M3 hit, crazy. <laughs> I, had to, I had the limo tense the whole thing. I'm driving with this shorty. I pull up to the corner of the mosque and I look and there's my father, my father, in front of the mosque. Had the books, the incense, whatever. And I'm just looking and I'm just, I was 19 years old. And I couldn't understand how or why this moment was happening. What is the universe trying to tell, tell me, me right now? Right. So I tell Shorty, I say, yo, you see that dude right there? She said, yeah, damn. And she's looking. I say, yo, that's my father. And she just lost her shit. Because I look, I'm a spitting image of my mom. Jesus Christ. Like I look Come just on. like he just, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so she's looking. And she's, oh, you're not going to roll down the window? You're not going to say? And I'm just looking. I'm going through a whole thing. And I was like, nah. Mm. See it all. These are the type of moments that the universe has gifted me. Right. You understand? And I did forgive him out loud. And I told him I love him. You said gifted. You drove off without acknowledging. How is that a gift? I was about no, to ask you. These, these things add up. Okay, from what he said like, earlier, it's like a chip at the wall. Math following. Chip. Math. Chip. No chip pun intended. It's said the math. And eventually, <laughs> eventually a little piece of light comes through it's and the you're like, oh things, shit. And you have to be. Some total. Right. Going back to how we were talking about the youngest. You have to be in a space to receive. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker could have the cure for cancer, but if you don't want to take it, then it mm -hmm. what, what good that, is that it? is what it right? is. Yeah. So, but the fatherhood piece is so, so, so important um, in our culture, in our race, in what we do. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and and I respect everyone's space, right? But the universe is made of duality: male, female. Mm -hmm. Plants, animals, whatever. And, 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 and we have to grasp that. And when it comes to our families, you know, when I was growing up, he's one of them. I ain't, I ain't know nobody who knew their pops. Can't Slim, can't Pops, that's the homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. My man Marlon wins. I grew up with him. Salute, brother. Mm -hmm. That's my family. I'm an honorary Wayne's. They knew they pops. You know what I'm saying? Right. My younger brother Mitch knew his pops. That's it. A by it. Drew. We Jeff. Mm -hmm. His pops was instrumental in my life as well. So I have father figures, but it comes a, a time where you like, where's the dude that I look just like? That looks like me. Well, where's the where's the things that I'm doing that I don't know I got from him? And we mm. crush your spirit right. to a point because you feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you don't have value. And now you're a young black kid growing up in an urban environment and you're looking for that acceptance, that love. That history. That history. That part. I think, I think for me, like it, yeah. was, it was detrimental to have some sort of history. Cause you go to school, what you being told? Oh yeah, y'all was naked in Africa and then you know, we picked you up, we brought you over here and then, you know what I mean? Like that, that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, history yeah. that you gotta be like, this is what I'm supposed to be proud of. Mm -hmm. So you kind of look towards the family, like what, who, what was my grandfather? What was he doing? What was, what was exactly. my father doing? And when you don't have that, it's like you out in the streets trying to create something on your own, but lost. Cause you don't know what direction you're supposed to go in. You don't know what talents. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't feel, not to cut you, but mm -hmm. you don't feel loved. Right. And when you don't feel love, you don't feel your worth. It's hot for trap, trap.
rapper turned smack rapper smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers I'm in the hood with the work you heard Making fiends leave earth you heard Got your baby mama thirst you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the way you need to surf you heard